I'm not sure if you guys can hear the truck running in the background, so I apologize if you can. But Jordan's outside working on stuff. I'm inside going to work on my own little project. He just loves when I do this. Just ask him. So this is our bathroom. I am going to take these shower doors off. Pardon the disaster. I haven't found baskets I like there, and I don't spend money on stuff I don't like. Um, so here. This is the whole guy there. And I'm going to take those off, and we are going to replace it with a shower curtain. So, um, wish me luck. We'll see how easy these are to get off. There are four rules to projects with Jordan. One, it has to be cheap. Two, I can't ask for his help. Three, um, I can't have a thousand going at the same time. And I, I think I only have it four right now ish and I have no idea what the other one was I knew it a minute ago but whatever anyway so those three things we'll start with that um campers are built from the inside out so it's really weird to take things apart I just removed all these screws I have no idea what it takes off nothing is loose so we're just gonna keep removing every screw that I can reach until I can get this thing off and we're gonna go from there people will leave the track here and just take the doors off. Um, I want the whole thing gone so that it's even more open, but just standing here, this feels huge in here. I'm so excited. Now try. There you go. Okay. Sorry for the drill noises, guys. So um, this does have a bead of cock part way down at least. Uh, oh, it's going to come off really easy. I hope. Okay. So it's going to take two hands. So I'm, no, maybe not. Holy cow. Woo. Yeah, guys, check that out. Okay, I probably have to run something on this side because it does have to be the cock here. I have to cut that so I can pull that off. Did you come to rescue me? Yes. Okay, I have the last screw in there. Where? Um, well, the screwdriver's there and the screw's on the bottom. Of course. Mm -hmm. Bottom? Yeah. Yeah. Clear down in there. I had to break my rule and ask for help because I couldn't get this last stupid screw up. See, it's hard, right? Yeah. Go grab that pair of pliers on the ladder in the shelf. Okay. You getting it? Slowly. Oh, All of these things. Graham, stop. You're not really that helpful. No. No. 
You got your screwdriver? They're really long. Stop. Stop. Woo! That's why I keep you around. There's a dead moth down in there. I know. I saw that earlier. Gross, right? That's gross. I cleaned this out. It's still nasty. Look how big it is in here, though. Yeah. It's like huge. Huge. That helps. Oh. It would be nice that you can enter into more yeah. of it than just that one little area. Oh, yeah. Well, and the curtain will hang clear over here, yeah. too, which will give us a little bit of color. Hey, you're gonna use my drill bits. Yeah. You are. So Jordan showed me a cool trick with this, with the razor blade and my blow dryer. Um, it's going to get a little loud. I'm just going to use it on low. I'm going to warm this up and then bring the raid blade right down it. Um, I tried it on the other side and it worked great. I'm sitting down here. I have the wall in front of me. Oh, just kidding. There's a little piece at the very top. Um, almost totally done. And then I have this bottom piece. I have like a three inch section on this back side. And then I have this back wall part of it that still needs to be done. Um, so the razor blade and the blow dryer. Super, super easy. I turn the blow dryer, dryer on low. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Oh, step in here. So I turn the blow dryer on low, and then um, part of it is you warm up your razor blade just, a, no, 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 just a smidge so that it glides along it really well, and then warm up the silicone, and then go, and you're good. Say bye. So I have a little cleanup to do here, but oh my goodness, this is amazing. It's clean, the bottom's clean. You need to pick all that up, and we're done. I am going to finish the last of the shower. Sorry, the light is really terrible in here because we have the skylight. Um, I'm going to finish the shower. I need to fill these holes here on both sides. And um, I picked up yesterday when we were in town at Home Depot, I picked up kitchen, bath, and plumbing, some caulking. I got the gloss biscuit color because our shower is kind of that yellowy color. Um, and I don't want the holes to show any more than they have to. I didn't want clear because then of course it's going to show the holes and white was going to stand out. So this is what I went with. The only one I could find in this color, it made my choices easy. I'm going to go ahead and cut the tip. I have a caulk gun. Um, this is actually Jordan's dad's. I pulled it off the shelf, but we do travel with one of these. We use it for the seams on the outside. If we're resealing things, we can use it for stuff like this. They're super cheap. If you don't travel with it, you could go find a new one every time. Um, but we keep it with us because we actually do use it quite a bit. And cut the tip, put it in here. My shower curtain comes today. And I'm super excited to get it up. Here, if you guys don't know, this little guy here will cut the tip off. Um, you can also use this part. It flips out. I do it one handed, sorry. Um, this part to break it. But uh, anyway, so we'll see here. We'll cut the tip off, see? And then this guy goes down in here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this piece here goes in this piece here to push it forward. So you slide it all the way back and drop it in there. And then when you squeeze the trigger, it pushes that piece. This will get shorter and it pushes it forward and then it's going to come out the end. So before I finish that, I'm going to get a wet paper towel because I'm going to fill these holes and then I'm going to wipe it because I don't want it all over my shower. I just want that hole filled and it to be um, relatively solid looking. So let me turn the camera so hopefully you guys can see. So, 
Um, Jordan went and got me trusty razor blade back out and we're going to try something different on the shower. It was not coming quite as smooth as we wanted. So I filled the holes back in with silicone. I'll show you in just a sec. I'm going to let them dry and then I'm going to come over them with a razor blade and cut it crisp. Hopefully that does the trick. We'll see. Um, we want them to be sealed well. We don't want water in there. If you know anything about campers, the last thing you ever want is water because of mold, because they just fall apart a lot like particle board. Um, so we're trying to get a crisp, clean line. We know it's not going to be perfect, but we do want it to look decent. And then, um, I'm just going to slide right over and we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully it goes perfect and it looks great. And I can put my curtain up after. So this here, I don't even know if you guys can hardly see it. There you go. Um, went back up. Looks pretty darn good, right? I got Jordan's approval. He says it works. So I'm gonna clean the rest of these. I have six more to go. Um, and then my shower curtain should be here soon. So it will be up. I will show you guys. I'm so excited for how huge this bathroom feels. So here are my holes on this side. And my holes over here. And while these are certainly not perfect, I'm gonna share a little tip to get them as close to perfect. I tried a lot of different ways to get this to work. Um, I tried to put it on and let it dry and slice through it. Even in heating the razor blade, it wasn't enough because the silicone um, kind of crumbles, I guess, as it comes apart, like it doesn't come apart totally smooth. It's not like a knife stroke, um, like into an easy piece of fruit. So we tried that. We tried to leave it there and just kind of blend it flat. The thing that I found that worked the best was to put a glob on there to smooth it out with my finger. Um, so that it was relatively smushed in the hole and compact. And then to take the razor blade and to swipe down and leave it smooth, there would be a little layer of film around the edges then um, let it dry a little more since it's really thin it doesn't take long to dry at all and then go around the edges and clean it up um, to pull it in make sure you're not necessarily going clear back over the hole because you want a little bit of that silicone to adhere to the side but then we got nice smooth lines it filled pretty well all of it um, there are a couple on the other side over here that I'm looking at where you can see a little bit of the gray, but my curtain's gonna hang on that side, so I don't really care. Um, it is solid, it's just that you can see through the silicone because um, it's somewhat clear still, even in the color. So it might be that when this dries that you won't see it at all, but because it's still wet, I can't see some of it. But I'm overall, I'm really, really happy with it. I would give you the tip to make sure you fill it and use a razor blade to slide across it, smooth it out as much as possible, and then clean up those edges so that you don't have like the silicone globs on your shower. But the shower rod um, was right around 10 bucks. My curtain was $20. The silicone was another seven. So for less than $40, I have taken the shower doors out. I have a curtain, I have a rod, I have all that, and it's gonna feel amazing in here. As soon as my silly curtain arrives, I'll put it up. Um, I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs now, waiting. I know I've said over and over, as soon as my curtain gets here, as soon as my curtain gets here. Uh, I've been anxiously awaiting, if you can't tell. And I'll put it up, and I think this bathroom is just gonna feel fantastic. It's going to feel huge, um, cheery. I'm really excited about it. And I love that this skylight here that you see so much of it because with the shower doors, yes, um, you did get the light because it came through, but it just wasn't the same as having it all the way open. My shower curtain came and I got it up and fair warning, it has not been washed. So it's very wrinkly and I don't care because I love it. Um, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to show you guys a picture from the GoPro because I can't really show you the bathroom very well without a wide angle lens. You just don't get the same effect. So I'm going to show you the camera. I have it pulled up right now. It's awesome. 